Hello everybody, I am Brantman19, we're playing some more Transport Fever. Last time we finished up the motor industry up in the Great Lakes, but uh, this time I think we're about to head out west, so uh, let's take a look at this mission. On the coast of California, there's not only sun, sea, and beautiful people, but also a lot to do. Time to turn our gaze toward the stars. A lot has happened in aviation since the pioneers' first attempts. Air travel is no longer just an audacious experiment for daring men in flying boxes but it also brings interesting prospects for serious businessmen. Sometime in the not too distant future, flying will be an everyday thing. People will just sit themselves down in an airplane as if it were a railroad car. Okay, well it sounds like we're gonna be dealing with lots of planes and stuff. Out on the coast of California, there's not only sun seeing beautiful people, but also a lot to do. Time to turn our gaze towards the stars. Yep, out in California. Out in California way. It is the year 1925, and aviation is making huge progress. Commercial aviation is still in its infancy, however, and is a loss-making operation. Unless you can get a hold of one of the coveted airmail licenses, that is, the government is looking for daring entrepreneurs to take care of the transportation of airmail. That's perfect for us! The American Airmail Network is divided into a range of route sections. Licenses are granted for each of these sections, and anyone can apply for them. Officially, the cheapest supplier is awarded the contract. Unofficially, contracts are granted based on roundtable negotiations between the Postal Authority and the country's biggest transport companies. And we just happen to be one of them. Time to conquer the air! Sounds good to me. Let's take a look at our medals here. We have Aviation Pioneer, which has finished the mission before 1943, so we are timed here, which makes us about, what, 18 years? Uh, high Flyer, own at least 20 planes at the end of the mission. Mail Cartel. Own the landing permissions for all airports. Groundskeeper, make sure that at least 12 terminals, terminals are built. Industry boom, ensure that the number of industrial jobs in Los Angeles grows to 600. Okay, I think that'll just happen on its own though. So, all right, let's get on in here and start a mission. To obtain the airmail license for a route, we need to have permission to land at the departure and destination airports. To get this, it'll be necessary to do a favor for one person or another at the airports. Once we have landing permission for any two cities, our friend at the Postal Ministry will make sure that we receive the license for that route. It might not be entirely kosher, but it will have a very positive impact on our profit margin. Okay, so looks like we need to set up different ways to get these uh, landing permissions. So let's take a look here. I already see something over Los Angeles. Let's click on it. A bustling aircraft industry is growing around Los Angeles. Donald Wills Douglas and his Douglas Aircraft Company have settled in Long Beach, the Lockheed Aircraft Company in Hollywood, and the enterprising son of an industrialist Howard Hughes is tinkering on new models in a hangar in Burbank. If we supply the aircraft manufacturers with all the equipment they need, we'll be able to use the airport in Los Angeles. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and get that set up. They need, let's take a look here, machines is what they're making. They need, it looks like steel. So we need to have them producing steel, which, let's see, where is steel being, okay, here it is over here. There is a steel mill over here. It takes, let's see, coal and iron creates steel, steel, slag, and steel. That's weird that set up like that. Anyways, let's look for coal and iron. Hmm, up there's some up here. Yep, there's the coal, and then he over here is the iron. So it looks like we have a nice little road already set up for ourselves. So let's go ahead and work off this. Okay, let's take, uh, yes, we're gonna use our little bus tram stop thing right here. We're gonna set it right there for that one. Let's see, we're gonna set these guys uh, right there and set these guys there okay that way we are everything doesn't have to travel so far wait did I even need these up here probably not now that I think about it, I probably didn't need those oh wow look at this large tram stations I've never seen some of this stuff we don't really deal with trams a whole lot do we Probably need to go replacing some things now that I think about it, but uh, we'll build you right there. Next, we're going to build you over here. 
Construction, not there it is, okay. I don't think I need this. Nope, I don't. We don't need anything to actually run these mines. That was a dumb decision. It only cost me, what, $300 or so? No big deal. All right, we'll come down here. Now they are going to deliver it here. And then we need another spot for collecting the steel, which we'll put right there. Okay. So iron and coal come down this road. They deliver here. It gets put into here. We need to move it to over here. And we're actually going to make a collection zone out of this one. Ugh, that is not a very good, well. Let's pay the extra cost to do this. Because, let's see, where's the where are we actually going to deliver this at? Here. I can build a road, I think. Okay, like this. Okay, we'll build out there. Let's go like that, and then like that. See there, that, that works out really well. A little bit of root planting never hurt anybody. Now we need to go in here and put a new tram or bus stop right here and okay so that sets up the industry now later on we're gonna need to take advantage of the air here so we're gonna put you there we're gonna go ahead and get bus transport zones working put one right there and put okay, we'll put that guy right there Okay, let's go ahead and get ourselves a depot. Get him set up. Right there's fine. So first, let's go ahead and get these things set up. So we're gonna put. We have so much money. We we can we have twenty four point four million. On ten, we're gonna run ten there. New line. You're gonna run from there to right here okay and then this line we're gonna call the LA iron road there we go run that now we're gonna buy 10 more set this guy up for here yeah right there Santa Barbara East to right there call it the LA coal road of course okay that should set up plenty for him now I'm gonna set up let's start with five whoops wrong thing let's come over here Give me you then we're gonna build five of these two three four five he's got a different job he's gonna take everything from there and he's gonna put it in here look at that it's like a nice little roundabout way to go about it um, we're gonna call him the LA steel road which makes perfect sense and then we're gonna build one two three four oh, I only okay I was gonna say is it not gonna let me do it uh, yeah, 28's fine right now. Or three of them, excuse me, is right. Send these guys from here to there. They are going to be the LA Machine Road. Okay. There we go. We've got that all working up nice and good. So that's going in. Let's go ahead and add our buses. That, let's go with the... Uh, which one's better? Schneider carries more and the Mac, but I've got these close enough that I think they could actually make a good profit. So two, three, four, five. We're only going to put five in the city. They're going to go here, 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 there, there, and then there. 
I wish he would have found that. Well, he can't find a way to round about that, but oh well. That looks good. We're going to call this the LA bus line. There we go. And they're all working on it, I think. So there goes LA. Uh, what's next? Let's see. Santa Barbara. What do you want me to do? A devastating earthquake has destroyed half of the city. Local businessmen are resorting to unusual means to finance the reconstruction. An illustrious circle gathers regularly on a ship cruising off the coast for a game of cards. We might be able to secure landing permission for the airport in Santa Barbara around the poker table. Okay, where is this at? Up oh, there it is. This is where all the big names in California's growing economy gather. We won't get far with a handful of loose change. If we want to get our hands on the license, we'll have to go all in. And we'll need to bet five million to playing poker. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Oh, better luck next time. As he won our entire stake, our poker partner has kindly allowed us to use his runway. How generous. All right, so I got what I needed on that. So we're going to go ahead and set up... It looks like there's some industry out here. Yeah, we're going to need to make as much money as we can. What is this? Food factory. It takes... Uh, wow, we can really run both cattle and grain. And they make cattle and grain. All right, I've got an idea here. So let's take this guy. Let's go ahead and make little itty bitty. I hate how this is all... The way this is set up is not very easy on you. It's all hilly and you have to dig into hills to create anything. Okay, you guys... We're gonna make a big one. Okay, see as I'm getting further... There you go, 34. I'm not gonna get much better than that. Okay, and then we're gonna run everybody down here. There is a... Yep, here it is, the commercial district. We're gonna set up here. Get a tram right in the middle of it. We can use that tram both ways. We're gonna put this there. This guy right there. And that guy right there. And then we'll put, of course, one bus line over there. Build our nice depot out here. All right, by the road vehicles, we'll need 10 of these. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. It's gonna be hard to determine how many is 10. New line, we're gonna run you from there to there. We're gonna call you, well, let's, let's figure out what we're gonna call him. Um. What is this called? What is uh, this called? Farm One. Let's call it. I think this is actually South. If you want to get technical, so we'll call it South Farm Road. Okay, let's go ahead and get another group of guys. All right, one. Okay, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep, that's 10. New line, we're gonna set them up on the North Farm Road. Okay, I know it's not, a, I know it's a very short amount, but that'll come in handy later on, having so much being generated. Okay, we also need to, one, oh, let's get you pulled up here for me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go, there's 10. We're just using tens. I know it's going to be a heck of a lot more being delivered, but and that's a lot. That's very far to go, but we can add on to that later. Okay, that's set up. We're going to call this the let's see Santa Barbara Food Road. Now then, we're going to need to take the Schneiders. We're going to get. One, two, three, four, five. Set them up a line, new line. You're gonna start here at our very first, and then you're gonna run like that. 
I was hoping I'd get a better looking line out of it, but we'll live. Okay, we'll call this the Santa Barbara Buses. Okay, Santa Barbara is set up. Let's go next. San Diego, yeah, that's a big town. We need to use it. An ambitious airmail pilot named Charles Lindbergh has big plans. He wants to be the first person on Earth to fly across the Atlantic non-stop, an intention that we must support, of course. The aircraft for this endeavor is being constructed here. If we supply fuel for the test flights, the runway in San Diego will be available to us. Okay, so we gotta deliver fuel. And there's fuel, where's the oil? Ah, oh, there it is, up here. So here's two things of oil, and they both run a very long distance. I don't like that. I think I'm gonna work on this for us. Okay, build this to here. There we go, nice. All right, we've gone through there. Let's continue on. Let's hope we don't try to make any... There's so many hills that it's, it might try to make a uh, tunnel or two. We don't need that, of course. Let's keep this going. There we go. That looks nice. Okay, we've got that working really well for us. Now then, uh... Oh, we need to connect over to here to make it efficient. There you go, very nice, okay. Now these guys out here are going to need collection spots. Here. And right. There, nice. Now we're gonna take it all the way into town. Let's see, we can probably put it right over here. Alright, that'll collect there, and then we can send it into the city. Actually, we need to upgrade. Nice, there we go, perfect. Now we need to find out where oil is going to go into the city. It's going to go right here, actually. We're going to go ahead and take our bus stop and put it right there where we need it. Uh, we'll put another one here. Another one there. Here. Over here. And kind of in the middle, I guess. Alright, now we need to build this out. We'll put him right here, as a matter of fact. Then we'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Set that line. It's going to be... This will be the east side oil line, or east side oil road. We're starting to slowly run out of money, so we need to be careful about our spending, but we're getting really close anyway so okay here goes the one for the west line let's see did I name that one correct yeah here to right here Call this one the east. No, that's the west side. Whoops. West side oil line. Or no, 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 no. Gotta keep our stuff sounding good. If I could spell too, that would be nice. Alright, that's looking good. And then we'll need to make another one. This is gonna be one, two, three, four, five. He's gonna run it from right here. It's right here and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be like really inefficient at the beginning here we're gonna make this one the San Diego fuel road I could have called it a delivery or something but no big deal and now we need to buy five of our five Schneiders 
two, three, four, five. Set their line. It's going to be a new one. And they're going to start. Oh, we're forgetting a very big piece of the puzzle. Put you right there. All right, now let's add the stations. You're going to go here to there to there to there. It's up to there, down here, and there. And then I'll connect just like this. I want to connect. That should make our line work a little bit better. Okay, that thing San Diego set. And I know I'm in the middle of setting it up, but I have two more towns to look after, guys, and we are hitting time. So I'm going to go ahead and end this one right here. The next time we will set up these other two places, and then we'll be ready to go. But so far, we've got Santa Barbara, Los Angeles, and San Diego all set up and ready to go. We just need to get it started. So, all right, guys, we appreciate you all so much for watching. I will see you guys next time.